In today's math lesson, we're going to be learning about something called arrays. Arrays are a way that we can multiply uh, by using objects. So today I'm going to share a story called Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream. And I like this story because it shows why learning our multiplication facts is so important. And the story again is called Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream. Now, as you look at the pictures, you'll see that there are many math problems, multiplication right in the, in the pictures. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm Amanda Bean, and I love math. I know all about counting. I'm very good at it. I can count by ones, twos, fives, and tens. I can add up anything. The kids at school call me Bean Counter. Hey, what are you counting, Bean Counter? They yell. Anything and everything, I yell back. I just like to know how many. I count every day, even when I'm on my way home from school. So let's look at some of the things that she can count on her way home. Well, here she is and she's looking at this building, but let's back up a little bit. Up here we've got the windows and we see that there's one, two, three, and there are two sets. One set of three, two sets of three. So the multiplication for that would be two times three. Or if we want to count each window in the windows, we would count one, two, three. We see that there are three rows, or three in each row. And then in our columns, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six columns, or six in each column. So three times six, 18, 18 windows in each, each 18 sections in each window. When looking at this window, we've got one big window and how many hats in the window? Three. So this one would be one times three for a total of three. On these windows, one, two, three, four, four times one, two, four times two, you got it, eight. And over here, this one's my favorite. We get to, to count the, the cake pops. She's got one, two, three, four on each box. And she's got one, two, three, four, five. Five times four, 20 cake pops. Now we are learning about multiplying. I understand many things about multiplying. I know that it is like adding lots of things quickly. This is good. I know about the multiplication sign, X. It means that things can come in groups or rows or columns. This is also good. So over here at the cakes, we've got one, two, three cakes times one, two, three, three times three, a total of nine, you guessed it. And then, Let's take a look at the flowers. One, two, three, four flowers on each of the nine cakes. Four times nine, 36. Over here on the baker's shelves, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in each set, and there are two sets. Two times seven, 14. I know you guys are saying it faster than I am. This one here, we've got their little pies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times one, two, three. And that gives us a total of 18. In the breads, we've got one, two, three, four on one shelf. One times four, a total of four. Now, if we look at both sets, that would be four times two. Two times, I've got a set of four. Now, in order for us to multiply, we have to have an even number, meaning that um, the, you have to have the same in each set. Okay, so here we've got two sets and four in each set. Two times four, eight loaves of bread. And in this one, the chocolate chip cookies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times one, two, three, four, for a total of 28. Now, I would suggest you do not read this book before lunch. It will make you hungry. Let's go on to the next page. What I 
What I do not know are the multiplication facts. My teacher says it is important to learn these. I'm not so sure. I think just keeping count, I can just keep counting. I tell my teacher this and she agrees, but she says counting is a longer way to find the same answer. So if I want to count, let's take a look at the bushes right in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's easier for me to count one, two, three, four, five, six columns and one, two, three, four, five in each of the row, for each rows. Okay, so we've got six times five. Easy, if you know your multiplication facts, you know you've got 30. But if we do it Amanda Bean's way, we've got to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Yeah, learning your multiplication facts is a whole lot easier. Let's see if Amanda Bean learns. I think about this when I get home. I think about this as I eat a snack in the kitchen. I look at the countertop. The countertop, I say, I must count these tiles. There are 12 tiles in each column. It is a long time before I count 144 of them. I am Amanda Bean and I like to work quickly. Maybe multiplying would be faster. Well, let's show her. Let's take a look at the jars. She didn't even count those. We count how many jars? One, two, three, four, five, five sets. And there are two in each jar. Two times five for a total of, you got it, 10. Over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five in each jar. And again, we've got one, two, three, four, five jars. Five times five, 25. And the pickles, again, five jars and one, two, three pickles. Three, or sorry, five times three for 15 pickles. I walk to the library to check out a book. One bookcase has seven shelves and nine books on each shelf. I am Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything. I start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen. And I finally figure out that there are sixty-three books in the bookcase. I am happy to know this. But now the library is closing. It is too late for me to look for a book. Maybe I should learn to multiply. Maybe it would make counting easier. I'm still thinking about this when I go to bed. I'm very tired, but my mind just will not quit thinking about numbers. Once, when I could not sleep, my mother told me to count sheep. I stayed awake all night counting them. The next morning I had 6,727 sheep in my head. I do not think Counting sheep is for me. Tonight, I will think about riding my bike. This is simple. There are only two wheels, two pedals in one seat, and one of me. I will imagine a quiet ride in the country. I whisper to myself, I can see the rolling hills, the big trees, and the green grass. This is relaxing, I say as I begin to nod off. I am pedaling along a quiet back road. The sun is shining. A gentle breeze is brushing against my face. This is relaxing. Then I notice something. It looks like eight bicycles with sheep on them. How many wheels is that, I wonder? I start counting, but the sheep whiz by so fast, I cannot count all the bicycle wheels. Wait, I yell. I am Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything. Well, let's do it for her. If there's eight bicycles and two on each, two wheels on each bicycles, that's the same as eight times two, 
You got it, 16. I decide to follow them. I have to know how many wheels have rolled by me. Then I wonder, how many legs do those sheep have all together? Oh my gosh, eight sheep and four legs each. Four times eight. I'll let you guys figure out the answers on the rest of these. Now I really must catch up with those woolies on wheels. I really must know how many. I pump harder. I breathe harder. Up the hill they go. Up the hill I go. Around the bend they go. Around the bend I go. The sheep stop at a barn and get off their bikes. I get off my bike too. I do not stop to count the wheels. I follow the sheep. They go into the barn. I go in too. They reach into their fleecy pockets. Each sheep pulls out five balls of beautiful yarn. Oh no, I cry out. Now I must count the yarn too. I am Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything. First it was wheels, then it was legs. Now it's balls of yarn. There are how many sheep? Eight sheep and five balls each, five times eight. Or you can do it Amanda Bean's way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? You're already done? No. I cannot believe my eyes at what I see. Seven grandmas come marching in with two knitting needles each. They take the yarn from the sheep and start knitting sweaters. This dream is getting too crazy. Now I must add knitting needles to my list of things to count. And each sweater has two arms. Should I count them too? Two times how many ladies? Seven. And two sweater, two sleeves each. The grandmas start wrapping all of the sweaters around me. Stop, I tell them. How can I count all of the arms in the sweaters and all of the knitting needles and the balls of yarn and the sheep's legs and the bicycle wheels if I am all wrapped up? Multiply, bleat the sheep. Multiply, 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 chant the grandmas. Multiply, I ask. I am Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything, I say. Multiplying is counting, say the grandmas. It is just a fast way of counting. Yeah, agree the sheep. I wake up to find my mother wrapping me in her arms. I had an amazing dream, I say. It was a noisy dream, my mother says. Today I will start to learn the multiplication facts, I announce. They are important to know if you want to find out how many, and you need to know fast. My mother agrees. I am Amanda Bean. I still love knowing how many, but now I multiply anything and everything. And I never count sheep. One of the really cool features for this book is that in the end, it talks about all of the multiplying that we did uh, as we went through it. And it talks to you about all the different things that you can multiply. Okay, so it, again, the name of the book, Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream, A Mathematical Story.